Our care here at the Center for Comfort, Care, and Healing does not end at death. For families and friends of deceased loved ones, as well as volunteers and staff, what happens after death can be just as significant as the care received in the last days and weeks. Very often, people don't know what to do in those sad moments right after their loved one has died. And while those of us that work and volunteer witness dying and death every day, we are deeply touched and impacted by you and the loved ones that you entrusted in our care. We too experience the sadness and loss. Some of you may be aware of our flower petal ceremony and may have participated in it. Others may not have been present to witness it. A flower petal ceremony is a simple and yet beautiful way to say goodbye to someone who has died. The goal of the ceremony is to bring the mourners together to say goodbye to the person that they have cared for and loved. This ritual is offered by center volunteers and staff. If the patient's family and friends are present, they're welcome to participate. To prepare for the ceremony, we gather flowers from here in our garden or perhaps from one of the bouquets in the family area. We like to use rose petals because they're lovely and fragrant. However, any flower will do. We place the petals in a small, beautiful bowl and we bring it to the bedside. We gather in the patient's room or enter one by one and sprinkle the petals onto the patient's body. There's no need to say or do anything else. If one wishes to say a few words, perhaps recite a poem or say a prayer, they're certainly welcome to do so, but it's not required. And after the ceremony, mourners may gather the petals together and keep them as a keepsake. Typically, healthcare facilities do not lend themselves to such intimacy. In light of that, this ritual takes on even greater significance. The true beauty of the flower petal ritual lies not in creating a perfect environment, although all efforts are made to create within the center a serene and beautiful space. Its power comes from the thoughtful and loving actions of participants and the opportunity to express deep loss in a loving and compassionate way and to take time to say goodbye to the families and patients who die in our care. So whether you were present to witness the final act of care or not, I want you to know that your loved one left the Center for Comfort, Care, and Healing, draped in beauty and in love.